It is completely plausible that the Lannisters would try to get the Aerons on their side in order to keep them from joining on Robs, which a lot of Vale Lords want to do. It's actually more believable that the Lannisters would aim for the more relatively neutral Aerons than the Martells whose kinsmen the Lannisters brutally murdered. The alliance on its face looks legitimate. Tyrion found Baelish's weak spot twice over. Littlefinger's plotting has been about getting back at the three families he believes have slighted him or overlooked him, Stark, Tully, and Arryn. What Tyrion is proposing gives Baelish a proactive advantage in two of those three areas. Even if Baelish would normally be more cautious, I think his greed got the better of him this time. Hello everyone, if you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell, so you don't miss any new updates on your favorite TV series. Curiously, Littlefinger's ultimate reward for engineering the Tyrell alliance was exactly what Tyrion offered him, and then withdrew from him, in this ruse, Lord Paramount of the Riverlands, Harenhal and a marriage to Lysa Tully. It's not clear what the sausage-making looked like when Tywin and Littlefinger worked out his Tyrell reward, but it looks like Littlefinger may have pointed out that Tyrion promised this and then reneged on it, pressuring Tywin to make good on it. Littlefinger is likelier to begrudge the loss of Tyrion's reward if he thought it was real at the time. If he knew all along it was a lie, then he'd have known he hadn't lost anything, he's likelier to chase it if he thinks something was actually stolen from him. Littlefinger underestimates Tyrion, not always correctly. I don't think Baelish would expect Tyrion to use this sort of flush-out technique. It's cleverer work than Baelish is used to seeing from him. The second option is that Littlefinger faked outrage at being lied to in order to get Tyrion to be more complacent, but Littlefinger already sees Tyrion as an easy mark, which is how Tyrion ends up in so much trouble both before and after this. I'm not sure how much extra benefit Littlefinger would get by pretending he didn't know this was a lie. The whole point of this exercise was to see who among Varys, Pycelle, and Littlefinger was blabbing to Cersei about Tyrion's plans. It ended up being Pycelle. It makes more sense for Baelish to keep his mouth shut if he thinks the plot is real, if he blabs to Cersei, the deal probably falls through and his reward goes out the window and note that Littlefinger is the only one of the three men who would benefit from his respective version of Tyrion's plot directly, if it were true. If he knew it was all bullshit, there'd be no reward to lose, but possibly an actual reward if he told Cersei that Tyrion was floating random marriage proposals for Myrcella. Littlefinger benefits from his silence more if he believes the plot is real. Thanks for watching, please don't forget to like this video and drop comments. And most importantly don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything.